and test for ammonia gas with damp red litmus paper. And if ammonia gas is produced on warming, it should turn the litmus paper blue. And there we see already the litmus paper is starting to turn from pink to blue as ammonia gas is produced. Add some more nitric acid. So we've produced a whole lot of bubbles and we're bubbling that through the lime water. If we produce enough bubbles, we should find the lime water start to turn a milky white color. And we will see that it is carbon dioxide being produced. Okay, now we're gonna test, do the test for hydrogen gas. We've got some hydrochloric acid, which we're gonna to add to a boiling tube, and I'm gonna add some magnesium powder. This is the reaction between an acid and a metal that we've been looking at already in acids and bases. <clears throat> and when we add the metal, um, a salt magnesium chloride is going to form, be formed, and the second product is hydrogen gas. It's an exothermic reaction, so it should get pretty hot, and hydrogen gas will be given off. I'm going to collect it using an upturned boiling tube. Collect the hydrogen, which is a very low density gas. And our test is it should cause a lit splint to explode with a squeaky pop. Okay, this is the test now for oxygen gas. We've got some hydrogen peroxide, which decomposes normally, um, but we're going to speed up the decomposition using some a catalyst using manganese four oxide. Um, so we're going to add the catalyst, and hopefully you'll see bubbles being produced. The test for oxygen is it should relight a glowing splint. So we're producing some oxygen gas from the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Once we have a glowing splint, as we hold it in the mouth, we should see it relight. And every time we put the glowing splint, plunge it into oxygen, it relights. Okay, I just want to show you, we've got some electrolysis of copper chloride here, which I've shown you before. Um, the cathode, copper is being deposited on the cathode, and the anode, we have chlorine gas being produced. I want to show you the test for chlorine gas. We have blue litmus paper. I've just dampened it with some distilled water. There's some blue litmus paper. I'm just gonna hold it above. There's the blue litmus paper. And I hold it above where the chlorine's being produced. And hopefully we're gonna see the test for chlorine gas is it turns blue litmus paper pink and actually bleaches or removes the color from pink litmus paper. It starts to bleach it to a sort of almost white color. Okay, and so you can see the pink litmus paper now being bleached um, and you can see the difference from blue to pink and even there there's a sort of creamy white color as it's bleached by the chlorine gas that's being given off. I don't know if you can see the chlorine gas being bubbles, the tiny bubbles on the electrode as it's given off.